Yeah. All right, one down and 15 to go. 19, 18 to go. Sorry, you're right. We're talking about the Super Bowl. We're talking about the Seahawks, and you got to win 19. Well, not not to win all of them, but 19 weeks. Yeah, let's, let's, let's just win them all. Let's just go undefeated. Let, let's win them all. Let's I mean, play around. A very good start, I thought. To, you know, to get a win on the road, uh, trailing at halftime, something that the Seahawks have never done in a season opener, uh, wasn't all that pretty for the most part. Uh, most people were talking about, except. One aspect I thought of the game was, was pretty seems like a rough word to use, but I'm going to use it anyway. Doug Baldwin had a beautiful game. I mean, he really, truly did. Uh, it was the, and we've got a nice interview podcast with him you can check out on, on the page. Uh, it really was the Doug Baldwin of his rookie year, the guy who kind of electrified this entire area, was Tavares Jackson's go-to guy. Uh, he was Russell Wilson's go-to guy, and, and you brought up uh, just absolutely the important catches in that game were made by Doug Baldwin. Well, the Seahawks had six conversions on third down in that game. Four of them were to Doug Baldwin. And it, so it tells you about the level of faith and trust and, and just clutch plays that are going going his way. So it was, you know, in that conversation, again, you can hear it on the podcast page, he, he talked about, you know, it is different for him this year because he was he was hurt in training camp last year. He was never really healthy. You know, he, he had one injury after another, and it was just kind of an up-and-down, uneven season for him. And for him to go through all of training camp and preseason healthy, you saw a difference in this game. We all heard about and seen a little bit of what he was doing in camp, and to see it come to fruition in this game when the offense was struggling. I mean, the you know, they were having a hard time doing anything, getting the ball down the field at all, getting it into the end zone in terms of scoring points, and for him to come up with the catches he did at the times he did is huge and it's a huge opportunity a huge year for him and Golden Tate because this is you got a restricted free agent and a free agent in a year where Percy Harvin was going to take away touches from both of these guys he's not there right now so this is even more crucial for both of them to say here's what I can do here's what I bring to the table and he showed you yesterday yeah it's especially exciting with Baldwin because he did have that great first year and now it's almost like bringing in a new player I mean you, you don't get Percy Harvin but instead you get a guy who, who looks like the guy who was there last year but doesn't play like him plays like the guy who was there two years ago and, and Golden Tate too I thought the other guy who really stepped up and and had a good game for the Seahawks who, who got it out a tough road win now they get to come back home get the four 40 winers in town get a chance to open it up a little bit. Hopefully, it's just the beginning for a great season for Doug Baldwin. And, I, and I'm hoping he becomes the new new version of Bobby Ingram, the yeah. new version of Paul Scancy, the new the new guy on third down, just that sure-handed go-to guy. You know, when it's third down and you need four yards, he's going to get you five. You need five, he's going to get you six. I hope he becomes that guy. He's got the ability and all the skill in the world. And yesterday was the first, you know, sort of the makings of it, going to him in crucial situations when you need to convert, keep the drive alive. He's your guy. Well, do it on do it this Sunday against the 49ers, and yeah, he'll be mentioned with those guys a lot more.